got the engine and transmission cart now modified so I can put just the engine on it. Got the braces on the back here to support it so that I have access to the back of the motor because we need to uh, replace the flex plate with a flywheel. While we're at it, uh, my rear main seal was leaking a bit, so I decided to go ahead and replace it. And while you're in there, you might as well replace the barbell. That's the oil diverter, which is right here. Okay, just to show you what it looks like, I'm sure you've seen pictures before, but this is the diverter. Uh, the pictures always make it look a lot bigger. It's not very big. This one's made out of billet aluminum. And you can tell which end goes inside because the outside is threaded. That way you can put a small bolt in it to pull it in and out. Whereas the factory, you can see it is, it is smooth. And the way to get that out is to drill a small hole in it, put a screw into it, and pull it out. You don't want to drill too far. And there it is. On the new diverter, let's put some oil on it. It doesn't take a whole lot. But it needs to be lubricated because it's going to be a snug fit. So get it liberally coated on both ends except for that end and now then we're going to insert it. And that's it. it snaps into place. Now it's good. This picture shows the upgraded design of the billet barbell over the factory barbell. This diagram shows the location of the barbell and its general function in the engine.